Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning. Um, I know maybe you quite surprised why all of a sudden I'm here. Um, yeah, I'm here because this morning I have um meeting, so I have to make sure that um the class still can be proceed, and I have done the record version at least um for those who I do not uh yet submitted your uh tackle the key term you can still submit to me uh, submission okay and at the same time uh by next week i will do individual assignment on this topic so i hope that uh you will ready for that okay make sure you keep on logging in your and do all the assessment that i ask you to do okay um all right, I, I know maybe some of you still asking uh, how the progress uh, of our assignment. Okay, uh, basically overall I see is uh, okay. I mean, meaning to say on track. Okay, uh, so I urge you all to start off your um, magazine. Okay, to start to do your magazine. And the most important part is to do your video. Uh, so by that next week, you can start to have uh, at least um, have the progress on that. Uh, I mean, like have the progress for your magazine and also your video. So you can start. Uh. Overall, I can say 90% uh, on track. Okay, on, on track. So, inshallah, I will reply, okay, to make sure that, um, yeah, it's just only a minor. Because I think that because you all have the sample and also you have see uh, guideline very well. Huh? Okay, uh, all right. Okay, why the reason I have to do this early? Because I have, uh, I told you just now, because I have a meeting, okay? A meeting by meeting, meeting by meeting, even though I I start working at uh, office, but uh, we have a lot of um, tasks, okay? We have to do instead of uh, teaching to you all. I, I, I don't want to, you to misunderstand me. The reason I tell you so I you can understand me when um sometimes uh yeah the progress of our yeah learning sometimes have disruption and so forth now so so some part because of that okay all right um okay what is uh the last class I stopped at this slide if I'm not mistaken what is a personal selling Okay, so um, basically, as I mentioned, because we have the promotion mix, right? Promotion mix is uh, whereby the international business or other businesses is using uh, medium in order to, to do the promotion strategy. Okay, so uh, one is the personal selling. Okay, so personal selling mostly they used to have face-to-face -face interaction and approach to the customer, okay, in order to sell the industrial products or the consumer products. Uh, if you still remember the last class, I told you about uh, what's the differentiation between industrial products and consumer products. Uh, industrial products mostly is uh, involving the, uh, the company usage, okay, meaning to say the products being uh, by the company, in order for the company usage, for example, like I, I see they used to buy chairs, a uh, whiteboard, uh, uh, what else, a photocopy machine, fax machine, uh, desktop, our computers, okay, and then your chairs, your tables, uh, uh, and then the classes, okay, uh, every single of that uh, is more on industrial products. And if you go for the industry base itself, they have machinery, uh, tools, appliances, okay. They used to have industrial products. And for the consumer products, what is the product that we use day to day, okay. We need to see, especially the consumer uh, household course, okay, products, uh, like toiletries products, uh, like for the kitchens, our mom using 
cooking oil, uh, rice, uh, vegetable. Uh, so that is all the consumer products. Huh? Okay, so uh, we're moving to the next. Okay, the next is um, what is uh, the advantage of the personal selling? Okay, so basically when we're talking about the advantage, number one, uh, of course, personal selling, they have more on the leisure of the local market. Because they go to the site visit itself and then they have interactions uh, with the local people to make sure they can actually uh, expanding or penetrate the market, especially the, the new local market for them, where, whereby maybe it's a very uh, weird or maybe it's very awkward, okay, because compared to their own home country. Yeah. So that's why they have to have uh, in terms of uh, knowledge more on the local market in order to to expand their market all right and the second one they have close contacts with the customer okay so that's why when uh, personal selling because mostly uh, most probably okay the company start to hiring the local people itself to become a personal seller because number one because they know more about the local market could and the second one because they have the close contacts with the customer so basically they know the culture and they are well versed okay where is the area and what is the customer preferences towards a certain product or services and the last one access to the valuable market information because uh, as i mentioned just now the personal seller itself is come from the local people itself so that's why in terms of the valuable market information they will get the latest updates and to make sure they are aligned and updating their their customer as well huh? all right and then uh we're moving to the next one disadvantage of the personal selling um number one um of course in terms of the uh the 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 bad perspective it's not bad actually it's like the another disadvantage or the the parts that are lacking part can i say lacking part it's not lacking part it's disadvantage okay disadvantage by using personal selling because we have to compensate the sales representative so every personal seller we have to pay for their commission uh, as you know and have heard before right uh, so the the commission that being paid to the uh, personal seller is uh, in order to uh, boost and motivate their uh, strategy in order to generate the sales okay and of course they do have their own fixed income but at the same time the more they are making their sales okay the more they can generate their income by having the uh, excessive and uh, what we call uh, generate the good income by commissions huh? and then uh, the second one making contacts after the sales okay so uh, personal selling will keep updates okay their customer and to make sure that the relationship is prolonged okay so that's why uh, they keep on having uh, doing contacts even though it's already done with the purchasing the products so they keep on having uh, making contacts contacts by contacts to make sure that the customer if they need any any demands or maybe they need some helps or maybe they need some supervision okay so or maybe asking like a uh, frequently asked question FAQ, right? Uh, they keep on having with the person selling. In a good thing is a good perspective is yeah, we can have the place in order to where we want to to get some our our customer helps, right? From the customer perspective. But in other way around when too much and too prolonged relationship also uh somehow it's annoying uh because sometimes you do not need their helps but they keep on yeah disturbing you can i say that yeah yeah they're not disturbing in other way around they keep on want to push you to have maybe another more there yeah, maybe new products okay uh or maybe new uh advancement uh, of their new innovation of their product uh. so that's why they keep updating uh. and the third one expenses of the regional sales office of course when you are sending your people you have to actually spend more on that this is a part of investment but in other way around if uh, the regional sales office able to generate some more income to the company better income is 
better. But if let's say the the spending is more, but the return is not equivalent with the spending, the expenses will be like totally uh not significant, uh, not aligned. I mean, like it's not giving a good uh benefits to the company. So that's why, at the same time, when you spending, you expense on more on the regional sales office or maybe branches, other branches, make sure they have something like in return, okay? I mean, better, more return that you expected than your your expenses, okay? All right, and then uh, we're moving to the next one, sales promotion, okay? So under sales promotion, we do have um many, okay? As you can see in here, we have retailers, we do have wholesalers and we do have the consumer. So uh it's involved all this particular okay middle middle intermediaries. Okay, so um like retailers they do the sales promotion in their retails, okay. And the wholesaler also the same thing, and the consumer, of course, they are looking for this uh sales promotion to make sure that um they will be have this uh uh, better transaction okay because of course uh, the consumer are looking for a better price for reasonable price to make sure that they are on the go okay in they have a better uh, satisfaction on that uh, a good quality at the same time reasonable price and uh, we're moving to uh, the next one okay public relation okay so public relation if you uh, still remember for those who are learning in my consumer behavior class, okay, um, public relation is uh, is defined as the process whereby you have uh, uh, to make sure the relationship between the citizen and uh, public, okay, is mirroring a good image. You as the company mirroring, mirroring, okay, mirroring, 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 okay, you are um, show uh, can i say that the best word okay you are show the good image uh to your uh potential uh, stakeholders okay and of course one is a public relation which is people and the customer so number one uh we're talking about what is a good advantage on uh, public relation is to enhance the reputation and of course, they will be related to the general public itself and also the government regulators because those uh, party is looking into where this company goes to. Okay, so of course, when we're talking about this enhanced reputation to make sure that the company able to give helps, okay, some assistance and supports to the public who are needy especially yeah? and of course the government regulators also will together with them to do that um, win-win situation and cooperation to make sure that any projects okay there will be uh, have some uh, together with the company yeah? all right and then um, we're moving to uh, the next one okay my slide keep on running you know okay um, all right, in international distribution issue and decision, okay. Uh, before this, we keep on saying about place, right? It's not place. Uh, it's a part of one of the indicator of the place is how we want to distribute, how to make sure that the customer have the accessible to our products or services. So uh, in here, in the text of from IB, it's been stated they have five. Okay, five mode of transportation. Okay, that been used in order to have a uh, distribution, uh, for their products and services. Okay, my eyes is keep like small and smaller. You know because, uh, yeah. Of course, I'm quite sleepy. I wake up at one o'clock morning, <laughs> because I do. Yeah, we have a lots of, uh, tasks. Right. Okay. All right. So. Uh, okay, number one, we have train, okay. Uh, what is uh, the mode of train, okay. Train, as you know, train is like uh, Thomas and train, right? Okay, all right, train, 
uh, what is train? Okay, train is one of the transportation that been used in order to bring, for example, like consumer goods. Okay, if you realize, like in Malaysia, we do have KTM. Okay, Kereta Api Tanah Melayu. Ah, uh, I do not know how about Indonesia. Maybe Indonesia they also have their own public train. Okay, and of course, ah, uh, in terms of the train, ah, uh, there will be the advantages. Okay, in terms of the reliable. And also reliable and also very low cost. Okay, reliable in here meaning to say, we can depending on this train. If let's say, uh, they have rules routes in every single of the area or places that we want to go. But the limitations of the trail, uh, is the another way around the rail routes only. Okay, so maybe meaning to say in here is is only located at the place. Uh, for those places that have the rail routes, for those places who have not rail routes, okay, uh, it's difficult for the train in order to go through and pass by in their area. And of course, they are very slow. It depending because in Japan, if you're asking about the train, train in Japan, it takes around from one uh, place to one place, one st uh, stop, okay. One pit stop to the other pit stop is take around two seconds only, so it's quite, uh, fast, huh? fast, not just faster, but it's quite faster, huh? okay. So that is train, and the second one we have a plane or we call as aeroplane, uh, in somehow for the advantage for aeroplane, they are very safe and very reliable. Of course, because uh, mostly uh, aeroplane been used in order to bring like medication, uh, because medication uh we need some secured uh transportation and at the same time they need some certain degrees of temperature, and mostly when we using the aeroplane they give something like more on negative uh temperature to make sure that uh the medication that been brought okay through the aeroplane we will have uh in a very safety and a secure, uh, secure uh, uh, security. And then in terms of uh, jewelry, okay, jewelry also being bring using aeroplane, okay. Of course, number one, because of the security system, tight security system to make sure that uh, the product, especially like this uh, expensive uh, high-end, Products like jewelry can be secured to be bring okay, and this advantage of course aeroplane and airplane is a very costly, and also they have a very limited access okay limited access in here, is somehow like the same like rail routes right just now, but limited access in here only the particular area will be accessible by this aeroplane, maybe certain domestic only certain area for uh maybe international also certain area, and the third one we have trucks okay, uh for the advantage uh truck is a very versatile okay nowadays I can see like trucks for giant from Tesco retailers huh? from Tesco and then from McDonald is very versatile and somehow they equip with uh, also certain uh, temperature degrees huh? to make sure especially like for those like trucks from Tesco uh, McDonald okay they bring for the consumer goods okay for their factory goods in order to to give to each outlet restaurant so that's why to make sure that uh, the product keep maintaining and safety and fresh okay that's why they have to be very versatile and also truck is a very low cost because they use still use for uh, what we call transportation on the road okay and then in terms of the railroad uh, sorry in terms of the disadvantage uh, the trucks is very limit okay very limit uh, it depending on how much you want to use for the content you want to put inside that okay and then uh, in terms of the ship uh, they are very low cost also and uh, in terms of uh, the uh, only a certain large uh, item will be used for the ship okay so I remember like Malaysia we have MISC which is referring to Malaysia International Shipping Cargo located in all our ports okay like uh, West Port and also North Port in Port Klang okay so uh, yeah we can see a lot of ships being used in order to do some transaction export and import in there and in terms of this advantage uh, they are very slow and also indirect mostly the ships uh, they will bring for example like car okay, automobile uh, 
or maybe they bring certain of a uh, product that we export huh? okay and then the last one we have online of course online is a fast delivery especially like informations but they have product limitation you cannot bring for example you want to put car automobile into the online you can see it right you can put you can't put it but you can actually picturing it into the website and so forth huh? only picture okay all right and of course there will be like some disadvantage in here i stopped for a while because now it's already uh, uh azan subuh okay so um for a while uh, i stopped for a while uh, i will continue after this Allah, okay, all right. So I continue on the part of uh, just now we already discussed on the part of in transport transportation mode, right? Uh, for inventory and service. So in here, uh, we see how much uh the channels of distribution. Okay, in internet entrepreneurship class. We also learn like this channel of distributions, okay? Introduction to business also, we used to learn about this also, channels of distributions. So in the international business class, okay, we do have this also, okay? So under this one, they have three particular of uh, channels distribution. Let's I start with the left one. Manufacturer goes to import agent and then there we have the customer. And the channel B, we do have uh, manufacturer import agent goes to retailer and the customer and channel C we have manufacturer import agent wholesaler retailer and the customer all right so for the channels of distribution for the manufacturer import agent to the customer channel A most probably I use the example like amazon.com okay uh, manufacturer is also import agent okay which is you know that amazon.com is the online uh, books uh, uh, manufacturer online seller so most probably uh, it cut the process of the middleman because we use like online and website so the customer will be directly get their books okay through their website okay amazon.com so that is uh, for channel A which is we can have more lesser cost for the second one channel b manufacturer import agent retailer the customer okay because in here we do have the retailer okay so if you realize i also use uh like um okay i use the another samples okay example uh, for example like uh, you let's say you buy kangkung, you know kangkung part or name of the vegetables, okay? Uh, the manufacturer is come from the farmer uh, at a village area, rural area. So the import agent uh, will take uh, this uh, suppliers, okay? Uh, I mean like suppliers of the vegetable kangkung uh, from the rural area. And then uh, what they did was uh, they will packaging it okay and let's say uh, one kg of that kangkung is costly around 
50 cent because they take mostly like import agent they take in a buck huh? all right 50 cents so when they goes to retailer from 1 kg they say uh, they separate it and also divided it into maybe 500 500 gram or maybe 300 gram 300 gram 200 gram and then after they do some very exclusive packaging okay wrap up and okay and then they sell it uh, at uh, the retailers like giant around one ringgit and fifty cent from fifty cent just now, or maybe two ringgit per plastic, and then the customer will get the price at two ringgit or one ringgit and fifty cent. Are you get me? Okay, it's different from the the third channel, which is channel C. Okay, for this one again, I use like kangkung. Okay, uh, vegetable kangkung they take from the farmer just now is fifty cent. And they goes to the his wholesaler, maybe it goes with one ringgit. So why I say one ringgit? Because compared to retailer, retailer will make markup more compared to wholesaler because wholesaler also take in the bulk and they can have a very a small uh we can we can say in terms of the marginal cost because they take in the bulk. Okay, and then people mostly goes to wholesaler for those who are doing business and so forth. Okay, and maybe they open up the restaurant so they buy in the bulk. So from 50 cents per kg just now, they takes maybe 1 kg is uh, 1 ringgit. Okay, after that, they uh, move the item, okay, send the item to the retailers. So from the retailers, from 1 ringgit just now in wholesaler, we come 1 ringgit and 50. And then to the customer, we come 2 ringgit. So uh, what to say to you all from channel A until to C, the more intermediaries involved uh, within the relationship of each channel, the more actually the cost will be higher and incurred. So that's why when you lessening, okay, uh, mengurangkan, okay, the intermediaries ataupun uh, this middleman, actually the cost is more lesser and more cheaper, okay. So if I asking you all student, which is the channel is the most pricey, the answer is C, okay, at the right side of my here, yeah, manufacturer, import agent, wholesaler, retailer, and customer. And from the following of the channel, which one is more reasonable and low cost, it will be at my left side, which is manufacturer, agent, import agent towards the customer. Okay. All right. So, uh, we're moving to the next one. Okay. So, this is about the channel length. Okay. Uh, channel length was maksudnya kepanjangan channel. Okay, I told you before. Uh, the more intermediaries involved, the higher the cost. So distribution channel stages is direct sales to the customer, use the retailer or use of the wholesaler. Alright, so for this distribution strategy, we have foreign distributor, home country methods, local market system and also joint venture uh, for those who are involving in the international business a part of the distribution strategy is in here i don't want to go further because you can read from your textbook uh. all right so the nature of the international operation management okay uh what is uh your know, operation management the process whereby involving uh maybe assembling okay uh, logistic okay they have lots uh, when talking about operation management from input to output, okay, which is the uh, involving in the middle transformation and process. Okay, so under the international operation management, they have strategic context, standardized versus the customized production, and then they do have the acquisition of the resources, location decision, and also logistic and the materials uh, management, right? So as you can see from here in the strategic context, okay, they have superior value, which is involving business strategy, okay, production processes, and also production technology. If you realize this uh, item has included in your uh, group assignment, okay, that I asked you to do the differentiation between uh, country A and country B and with the same products, okay. Let's say you have Parata, Parata in Malaysia compared to Parata in uh, Pakistan, example. Uh, what is the, the superior value on that? What is the business strategy on that? How about the production process? How about the production technologies? And where they use machinery or not? Okay, whether they got halal or not. Uh, so you just follow the table and find out the information to in, to put into the the table. Uh, I see some uh, groups very good. Uh, in term uh, you uh, seeking the information uh, 
for those who are text me are saying that madam i cannot find this i cannot find that meaning to say you are not finished yet uh googling and searching uh, you have to use very creative word in order to to dig the information you cannot just use the straight uh words in order to uh, what we call to keep on uh, Google. Uh, this is the Googling skills. Huh? Uh, you are the generation who are very good in the Google search. Okay, so what is the complexity of the operation management? It's been stated in here. Apakah uh, kepayahan ataupun berlakunya uh, complexity? Complexity ni kesukaran in operation management. So in terms of the resources, location and logistic. Okay, I told you, okay, in Malaysia, we have uh, one location like in Terengganu, they are uh, very rich in terms of the resources like um, uh, fishery and marina, uh, perikanan. So let's say McDonald want to come, I give very simple example, McDonald when want to come out with like uh, the uh, localized products, okay, localized, local, okay, uh, instead to have like a French fries, okay, we do have example uh, mac uh, donald french fries so we change it to uh, mcdonald uh, uh, not french but mcdonald uh, cropot lecor or mcdonald lecor so the resources of the fish mostly we can say uh, uh, cropot lecor is something like fish chips huh? for those indonesian students okay uh, they've been used in order to to do some as a snack food. Uh, so the resources can be get from the Terengganu, but how about other can, another state? It's very difficult, right? Uh, so that is the, in terms of the complexity. Okay, but if McDonald want to embark on this strategy, they can, but they can ask maybe in terms of their trucks in order to get the supplies from the Terengganu state. Okay, and for the second one, in terms of the location, okay, I told you before, uh, when we're talking about Terengganu itself, okay, from KL to Terengganu, maybe it takes around two to three, five hours in order to 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 get uh, the resources. So in terms of the location, it's quite far. But anything, if you want to do the business, you have to actually face those things, okay? And the last one, logistic, uh, to make sure that the freshness of the fishery, okay? Uh, and of course, uh, to make this McLecor, for example, McDonald Lecor, McLecor. So the logistic is very important uh, to make sure uh, whether you are placing these uh, resources in the halal toyiban uh, truck, for example. We do have the logistic problem uh, in, if you go for like more deeper on discussion on uh, logistic uh, issue. Uh, even though the product is halal, whether the product is halal or not, yeah, the product is halal, but the logistic is non halal. Sometimes you mix and together with non halal products or inside that. Uh, lorry for example or truck uh, so that will be become something like how was was okay something like uh, um dog pool or uh what we call uh yeah dog pool meragukan okay so uh ambiguity uh, ambiguity uh, so that's why we have to uh discourage for those who are bringing halal products uh, it's only just uh, logistics is for halal product only. Do not mix in order to gain profit. You mix and blend together the non-halal logistics with halal logistics. That is the first and the foremost issues. Okay, and in terms of um the make or buy decision. So this is another point. If let's say uh the company or they want to do business, they can have whether internal production type of decision whether it go for the internal production uh, competitive advantage with by internal production here meaning to say you having your, their own uh, production uh, meaning to say you from head to toe from scratch okay you are uh, producing the product and in terms of the competitive advantage they are very high and in terms of the strategic vulnerability also very high uh, if you do not know what's mean vulnerability in case it's about risk. Huh? So of course when the competitive advantage is high, the risk also will be high. Buy off the shelf meaning to say uh, you buy other people products 
So in terms of competitive advantage, very low because you are not doing your own. And then in terms of the risk, also very low because you are not uh, risky yourself in order to expand your uh, what we call investment towards the product that you do not know whether it get the demand or not. And then in terms of special venture or contract, there will be uh, in terms of the competitive advantage, they are intermediate. And in terms of the strategic vulnerability, also moderate. So in here, we're talking about um, uh, you used to have like uh, special ventures, uh, special ventures here, uh, you're doing maybe joint venture or maybe permanent, sorry, the short term or long term joint venture, or maybe you use them like uh, contracts only for temporary. So in terms of competitive advantage is very intermediate and also in terms of the uh, vulnerability is also moderate. So we're moving to the next one, okay, in terms of uh, the addition factor they have in terms of the control, the risk level, and also in terms of the flexibility. Okay, this is the issue about location decision in terms of the country related issue, product related issue, government policies, and also organizational issue. I want you to read your own. Okay, yeah, they have a few under country related issue in terms of resources, infrastructure, and the brain image. Okay, and then in terms of the uh, product. Uh, issue they do have uh, some in terms of uh, the weight ratio okay the value weight sorry value to weight ratio and also the production technology okay and also under the government policy in terms of the political processes national trade policy foreign trade zone and development incentive we do discuss this one in topic four if you still remember and in terms of the organizational issue we do have uh, issue on the inventory management and then uh, we do have organizational structure and also business strategy and also the last part we do have uh, international uh, country is it? Uh, intern okay, sorry organizational issue under um, business strategy organization structure and inventory management so I want you to read that one now Okay, under international logistic, okay, we do have uh, some suppliers and materials and other resources and some parts. If you see, they have dotted line here from suppliers to the firm between the units of the firm and from the firm to the customer. So this is how the international logistic. So like this, I like to relate with how they do the processes on automobile. Huh? So you can see in per single parts, compartments, okay, they have a different suppliers, right? Uh, you can imagine that. And domestic versus international material management, we do have shipping, of course, transport, uh, transporting and also regulating. Uh, so this is the thing that we have to uh, face and dealing when involving international and also domestic uh, um, management, okay, in terms of the materials. And international issue logistic and material management, again, we do have uh, some part in here, okay, Packaging, factory location, and information technology. Bear in mind, when I skip, it doesn't mean that it's not important. But actually, it, I have already provided to you in the uh, long notes, a very lengthy, so I want you to read your own. Huh? And then for the international service operation, uh, we do have international services in terms of the resources, the output, and also the utilities. And the nature of service, mostly they are intangible. We still can use the services, but it's not. In, uh, tangible is intangible right we can't see it non-storable we can put into the stores okay put uh, maybe uh, succumb inside the store no okay it's non-storable and also customer participation let's say you want to use telco services okay telecommunication services you have to ask the customer to use it and then of course the customer will buy they say you want to, to sell your sim card yeah uh, so SIM card needs to use with together with handphone. So the associated products in here to make sure that the customer have the handphone and also SIM card and they can replace it inside that and then they can use that telco. Okay, and the customer participation is needed because we need the customer to to test the products. Huh? All right, and then um the role of the government in international. Uh, services trade, we do have the traditional function, mostly they're protecting local professionals, 
upholding domestic standard and restricting entry of the firms okay so this is basically in traditional okay routine and for the service operation uh, we do have capacity location facilities and also schedules so if you realize in here okay uh, uh, of course when we're talking about those things okay we have to make sure that all these four particular um, factors is have the influence uh, towards um, the service that you want to launch, okay? You want to use uh, uh, in terms of like, I give example like telco, the capacity itself to location, whether not all the telecom, uh, telecommunication industry can suit to the certain all area, okay? So how when you use DG, not all uh, DG telco can available in all area. You use cellcom also not available to all areas. So the location is somehow is fairly limited and facilities uh, whether you can use the facilities uh, for example internet, okay, call uh, and then uh, the internet uh, Wi-Fi for example and then uh, schedule we're talking about the rotation, okay. Uh, mostly uh, the, not rotation but more on uh, whether the the services can be used 24 hours uh, or maybe in other way around only a certain time huh? and the managing productivity in international business the importance of productivity of course for the company overall success and long-term survival for the country living standard and business revenue this is fact huh? all right and maintaining and boosting productivity of course we have to increase the research and development to make sure that keep latest updates okay and then improve the operation and productivity so it's not lame okay and maybe there will be like somehow uh, delayed or maybe postponed or maybe pending so we have to make sure that the operation can be improved well and the last one we will be increase the employee involvement in terms of uh, how they want to make sure that the involvement of the employee can be pushed okay and then um Managing quality, uh, uh, yeah, international organization for standardization. Okay, uh, in the IB, of course, we need we need we need like we need a product testing. Okay, of course, uh, we have to keep on testing the product whether the product is, uh, ready to set and ready on the go, and then of course we have to uh, train those the employees to make sure that they know how to make sure that the quality certain product have achieved their certain standards and then record keeping okay we have to make sure also certain maybe they will be like hiccup okay uh, to make sure that will be on track uh, and how we want to make sure that keeping the records in the proper way and supplier relationship okay so in terms of the uh, how we uh, have uh, our network with our suppliers and maybe they can offer it at a reasonable price and how we want to make sure that the policy can be have some improvement uh, not just repair but some improvement okay all right and then uh importance of the quality of course for the competition productivity and also for the customer loyalty and TQM, uh, this one you learn from Madam Suhana classes, right? Okay, in terms of the total quality management strategic commitment to quality, number one, we need to have the employee involvement to make sure that everybody have win-win situation on that. Aspirate the cops together, okay, and then high quality materials uh, to make sure that uh, the quality certain material meet uh, certain standards and then up to the technology this is very important to make sure that the technology that we use is uh, latest and also updates okay and effective methods of course from the technology we know uh, which one is giving the best of the uh, productivity huh? and also quality the QM step techniques we have statistical process control and also benchmarking okay how to manage in the information in international business? How do managers use information? Of course, the information have to be understanding. Okay, we have to particular uh, do some uh, is uh, understand what the information that we want to to use. Huh? Especially when you got the information from WhatsApp, right? You have to understand when once you get the some message. Okay, whether the messages is the right message or not. If you understand the content well, you will not uh, sharing to others.
But if the important uh, some message is very important and you do understand it well, maybe you think that it has to be shared. Uh, depend and before you sh you understand it, you have to tabayun. You have to investigate whether who is the sender, whether how reliable enough, how accurate enough the information. Uh? and then how you to respond whether you send share the information or you just keep it in your group yourself itself or to your own yourself huh? and uh, this is important also because uh, if we keep sharing without knowing what is the content itself uh, people will blame us in the future on that huh? and in terms of the controlling of course uh, to control whether the information is wrong information being distributed to maybe false people okay uh, maybe people who are not have the authority that's why we need to you to, uh, to very use uh, we need to be very careful and to be keep tabayun. Uh, tabayun ni kena sentiasa investigate, okay, whether the information is reliable or not, accurate or not. Uh. Alright, and then we do have the next one, okay. The next one is talking about the information system. Sorry, not, uh, they're talking about here information management okay uh strategy and organization design related diversification unrelated diversification centralized structure and also decentralized structure this one you learn in pipom class huh? principle of practice management related and unrelated diversification in term of if you diverse your company okay the importance of the information is of course very higher but if you are not diversify your company or not diversify your products or services the importance of information is very low as i told you just now huh? uh it it up to us we have to tabayun investigate whether the importance level of importance of information and for the centralized structure okay we need to say you are controlling let's say you are his hq okay head of quarters for the company so that's why you have to control the information so that's why importance of information is higher but if, if you are the one decentralized structure okay uh, meaning to say you are not the host country you, you are not home country of that company you are only the host country you are waiting for the particular what is structure next from your HQ so you are decentralized structure you are lower okay and then the the, the last but not least how we want to do information system number one gather the data uh, gather you you collect it together assemble the data well, gather assemble collect it together and provide the data this is how you want to do the information system and then you will put all the data into the system and the system can be used for those particular need for that Okay, to make sure that the system can be effectively and efficient to be used. Okay, so I'm done for this topic. Uh, six part two minutes to say I'm done. Topic six, finish topic six. So, uh, next week will we continue on topic seven and also we do have case study. Okay, I hope that uh you understand it well. Thank you so much. Okay, for listening this one, and yeah. Please take care. I'm so sorry for uh, disadvantage. Sorry, I'm so sorry for any maybe not as a usual uh, video record version. Maybe it's quite like uh, like slow. Okay, I'm so sorry on that. Uh, I hope that uh, everyone please take care yourself and uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.